Okay, I'm going to go over how to set up and tune my second generation of Sidewinders. First off, just like my old ones, you're going to want to use a solid or a, a, a very sturdy black nipple. And um, I got this one from Icon, and uh, you can experiment with other supply companies, but I found that these have a really thick rubber and work really well and won't get chewed up. Also, I like using black number 12 rubber bands. They seem to have a, a pretty good amount of tension, and that's kind of how I set everything up is with these rubber bands. There's little posts alongside the bottom of the frame, and that's for the rubber bands to go onto. What I typically like to do is start on this back one here, loop it onto that back post, go up and over the motor housing. There's another post there, latch it over the top of that. There's a spacer on this little screw on the side plate. It goes over that, and then you can latch it onto this other post here. If you're using, say, the pink rubber bands or another kind that's a little more slinky, you might want to pull it down under this post and latch it to this back screw. If you're using the black rubber bands, I find that that's just a little too much tension, and you may end up snapping the rubber band by going back that far. Okay, there are three main points of tuning on this machine. And one of the new ones that I added was being able to control where the armature bar comes down at. The reason that's important is because it affects how this cam interacts with this flat spring right here. Um, there needs to be a little gentle tug on when, when the armature bar comes down and you try to rotate the cam all the way around. It should just be a little gentle tug on that flat spring. And over time that may change and you may have to adjust uh, where the armature bar comes down in order to put this interaction in place better. That adjustment screw is right here. I'm going to call that the impact adjustment screw. Um, so basically, if you back it out, the, there'll be less compression on there. And turning it in, there'll be more compression. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later. There's also the stroke adjustment, which is going to be this back screw right here. Um, turning it out is going to make the stroke longer. Turning it in is going to make the stroke shorter. Any of these adjustments from the impact adjustment screw to the stroke adjustment screw, um, I'd only adjust them in about eighth, eighth turn increments at a time because they're very, they're, um, they make a lot of difference with minor changes. The third adjustment screw is the spring tension. Um, the spring tension is important because that kind of controls how hard the machine hits and between the other three they kind of all kind of work together that screw is right back here and all three adjustment screws have locking set screws and the for the spring tension adjustment screw the locking set screw is right here the impact adjustment screw um, locking one is right back here on this other side and for the stroke adjustment it's on this side right here there's little nylon balls in between the adjustment screws to keep your adjustment screws from stripping out. But it is important over time that you might want to check and tighten them if you've been doing a lot of adjusting. Okay, let's set this up, turn it on, and kind of see where, where we're at. Average voltage for this machine right now is at 6 volts. It may end up going to 7 volts if I go to a different motor, but right now these motors run pretty good at between 5 to 6.5 volts is the average range for them. They all run pretty good about 6, but when you get down to lower, this one's tuned up pretty good. But say you got the machine and it ran too hard for your liking, um, one of the things you could do, the easiest thing to do, would be to adjust the spring tension. The stroke length also will affect how hard it hits, but spring tension is the easiest one to control. So I'm just going to turn that in just a little. And you can hear it gets softer. It's not hitting as hard. But it also gets mushy, and now it's kind of stuttery right there. Um, you, it's really good, at least for my preference. I like that to have a nice crisp sound, like when I turn it up and it has that crisp sound right there. But say it was down where you want it to be, and it's either bogging down a little too much, um, and you're not getting any impact when you're tattooing, you can adjust 
you can do two different adjustments. If you just want to keep it still hitting soft, but have that nice impact off the, off the tip of the needle, you're going to want to adjust the impact adjustment screw. So I'm just going to turn that, and I just did like a sixteenth of a turn. And so it's still hitting soft, but you have a nice solid hit at the bottom. Now, say I want it to hit harder. The easiest thing to do is to back this out, and it's going to hit harder. You can also make the stroke a little longer. Um, I typically send these out with a stroke fairly long already, and it's about at the point where it's about 3.5 millimeters, and anything over that I think is just a little too excessive with the way this machine runs. But if you're down, if you lengthen the stroke, you can notice that a lower volt is really choppy. And so one of the ways, if you didn't want to make it hit any softer, but you still want that, um, but you don't want it to sound choppy, you can just back that impact screw out just a little bit. And now it's running low, but still has a good solid hit. And now if you want to keep the stroke, um, if you want to shorten the stroke because you just like a short stroke, you're going to see that, um, I'm just going to give that a good half a turn. It's really gushy right there. So I'm going to do one thing first. You can just reduce the tension on that right there on the, on the spring, spring tension. That'll do it. And also just adding a little bit more of a turn to the impact uh, screw. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you don't want too much interaction with the spring. You, you need a little bit, but um, say it's pretty much when the cam is going straight up and, it's, and the armature bar is down. If it was touching right there, that'd be a little too much and it's pretty hard on the motor. So right about the one o'clock position, if I was to draw with the Sharpie line from the motor shaft to the outer edge of the cam, you see that's that's about at the one o'clock position uh, when the armature bar is down and rotate it over, um, and that's that's a good starting point for this. So um, over time, the stroke may get a little bit longer, and once once you get the machine and you you can adjust it with the spring tension, and then over time it may start hitting a lot harder, and you just want to shorten the stroke just a little bit, just a tiny little turn on there, or if it starts to get kind of gushy and stuttery, um, let me, I'll show you. If you lose impact, I'll just back this up, it's all stuttery. So if it starts sounding like that, it's really simple. You just turn that impact screw in just a little bit and it solves the problem. Hopefully that's clear enough and um, Based on your comments, I may make another video to clarify even more. Um, feel free to email me or give me a text from um, my business card um, if you have any further questions. Thanks.